How y'all doing today? So I got some updates for my account that I'm going that I'm, you know sharing. Uh, so BSBR, I sold my remaining position in BSBR, and it's about a twenty-two dollar profit, as it says there. On um, this photo, I took at noon, so uh, some of it changed since I was able to sell it. But I took that position, then the MFG that I was going for. Um, the 222, I believe is what I said I was going for. It did hit 222 twice in the morning time and in the evening. However, I was at work, so I did not get to cash out at that in particular time that I wanted, which would have put me at about a hundred dollar gain. Um, but I did cash out. Uh, it was more than this, so it was like 220, I think. So yeah, so it was about a sixty dollar gain that I got out of that. So you had that plus my BSBR, you know, I still almost took a hundred bill, a hundred dollars so a bill today, uh, selling on my swing trades, which is pretty good. I still had NMR, which I was going to sell, but it wouldn't let me without having a possible violation. Uh, so that's 2188. It actually went up to like 25, so I actually made more by not selling it. That's great. Uh, but that was my sales that I did today with the swing trades. So I freed up $4,200, I think. Um, it's on my next photo. So that's pretty dope. I freed that up. And I did uh, make some more purchases. So that's my sales. Uh, and then my account at this time is $16,981, as you can see. And then here's where I went into buying. And I also added five hundred dollars um, to my account because I got, you know, paid. So now my account is sitting at seventeen six ninety five. I have forty two hundred dollars available in my account as of right now, come Monday, um, to pick up some stocks, swing trades, or buy into. Uh, tech companies, which I have been doing some research into the tech companies and there seems to be some opportunities in some of those. I have it pulled up down here below as you can see that graph. I believe that is PayPal and particularly that company that yeah, that, I'm sure that's PayPal. Um, that's one that obviously you see where I have that one share. I am going to build that up so I, I got that share at 97 dollars uh yeah so here we are 75 dollars <laughs> well with that four thousand two hundred bucks dollars right there i'm going to build my paypal position um i think paypal is a great company as you can see today i added seven additional shares to amazon taking that position at 10. i plan to also build that into about 25 shares at the very least is what I want to put into that. Um, just because I like Amazon before they did the stock split, you know, they were sitting at like 1800 and with the 2K, I think they almost hit 3K when they were at like a trillion plus market cap. And I'm like, wow. And I was like, well, dang, you know, because I had one share out about a grand. Um, or maybe it's a little more than that. I don't know. But it, it was in the 2020 time before, before the 2020 crash. And then I sold, and then it shot way up to around a, a 3,000 range uh, or something like that. But now they did the stock split, so it's affordable that the stock has corrected. And now I'm like, I'm going to build a position there because I do believe that Amazon is going to do very well in the future. And yeah, you know, these are this, this is the time to buy growth stocks. When the markets are way high like they were, you know, at this at this point down here, I'm not buying growth. Why? I mean, there's like billions, if not trillions, in margin that boosted it up that high. I'm not buying then. But right now, things are looking very nice. So I'm gonna, as I said in in previous video, probably like four or five, well, about five six videos ago, I'm not real big into growth stocks, and I went dividend paying stocks. Well, I still I still do. Um, but right now, I'm seeing these companies where people will pile into them, and in six months, they can double or triple the value. And then, 
I mean, that's just an opportunity I cannot pass up. I still very much so like REITs and all those, and I am going to continue to build that up. That's why I am funding my um, 401k with 20%. I'm getting matched 6%. So I'm getting, you know, and I and I also took a loan off of that to pay for my truck, which I have videos about my truck I wanted to share with y'all. Um, I'll probably just make a separate video about that because I was just showing like ways to preserve, you know, what I bought. I bought the vehicle, you know, and I just rotated tires out myself because I want to upgrade the tires, all terrain tires eventually. But right now they're just the ones that came with the factory. I don't want to waste tires that are still good that I already bought and I have some that I a bit worn um, but you know obviously you don't want to ride on a super bad tire but the tires not super bad anyway that's beside the point it's just about um, you making the things that you already paid count because like I said with my tax video which not many people have watched but you're paying so much money in taxes and all that so make it count but yeah so I've been researching more and more into the uh, tech companies. I've been watching videos on YouTube. Uh, not somebody saying, oh, buy this, buy that. If somebody's saying, these five stocks you need to buy, blah, blah, blah. I don't watch videos like that. That, to me, no. That, you're not going to do nothing. You're just going to make mistakes. I've been there, believe me. Um, people that are talking about analysis on the companies and, you know, owners and CEOs and what they're doing and stuff like that, that's where you want to put your head at. You don't want to put your head at, oh, buy this because somebody says it's low and buy it. That, that's, that, don't do it. Just, I'll save you several thousand dollars right now. Just don't. But yeah, so I added the 10 shares. I'm going to build that into 25 shares minimum. Um, now that I have the 4,200 cash down here because my position sold, I put a stop sell on it, um, which way I put at the, uh, you know, the 220, which it hit 222 again. I should have just stuck with that. But, uh, you know, like I said, don't be greedy. Take, you know, take what you can get. So I'll be purchasing more Amazon Monday especially if it goes down and then I'm also going to build up my PayPal position because that is set in that $75 compared to the first year I bought it at 97 and I believe deeply in PayPal too I mean people love these things these are good companies they have shown that they're good and there's always mergers and all kinds of other things out there that can make things change so I'm looking for opportunities, and in these companies, I am seeing opportunities. I have been looking at other companies such as Google, Microsoft, uh, Apple, you know, all kinds of things. Um, Meta, now that's an interesting one, the Facebook. I have been looking into that as well. I see where, you know, people, I've, I've watched several videos of people's analysis and news and everything they put into it. Um, I'm not going to really go into saying all of what they said because, you know, I'm not going to jack people's hard work and information. You can find it on their videos. But, yeah, so I'm pretty confident with Meta. Not confident, but that, that's something I see as an opportunity. So I'm, I'm going I'm to play that a little bit. Um, mostly just because, like, you know, like, it has proven to be cool, a good company. Yeah, they're doing things that a lot of people aren't liking, but you know they they still have worth. They still have massive value, and somebody is gonna take that value and take it right back up. So that's pretty cool, and that's something I plan to add to my portfolio as well. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'd rather be wrong on a good opportunity to be right than to be wrong on something that's just a, not worth being not even taking a chance at. But this is where my account is now. I put down here the amount of cash I have. Um, what I plan to do is pick up more Amazon shares come Monday. I'm going to build my PayPal account, and I will probably take up a position in Meta. Uh, I'm going to look at a few other stocks here in this video. I want to just show folks what's going on. I've also still add to my 401k so my 401k is sitting at that 31,000 like I said all pre-tax money um, I'm going to build up all these accounts that way when they get high again I will take a loan out against them you know so right now I'm putting 20% of my money into it 
The company matches me at 6%. I'm also paying a loan that I already borrowed against it to pay for my vehicle. So I'm putting about 28, 30% of my check into, well, we'll just go at 30% of my check into a 401k. So I think that's a great thing to get into as well. So what I've been looking at here is PayPal stock. How it's way down. I mean, just look, it was just like great. It skyrockets with all that margin money. That's what I call it. And then it goes right back down, you know, and I'm like, that to me, yeah, that's opportunity. And um, I'm willing to gamble on it. You know, like I said, I ain't gonna go to a casino and throw my money away, but I will definitely gamble on PayPal. Uh, I mean, you're still looking, even with that huge drop, they're still at 87 billion. It's raining here, if you, you know, you hear that noise. Okay, and then Amazon. Like I said, Amazon's going down. So, there's that as well. I'm definitely taking up the positions in Amazon. It's still almost at a solid trillion. Taking that huge hit. You know, and I'm like, I'm like, heck yeah, like, there's no way. Like, why would you not try Amazon at all? Uh, so, some of these other ones I've been looking at. So, we all know, uh, Beta, Meta. Okay, that, I picked, I went to the wrong one. <laughs> Beta. Alright, so, Meta. There you go. Alright, so... We got the max, what I look at. It has tanked crazy. See, but that's just because of this this new thing that they're doing. And there's plenty of videos on YouTube about it. Uh, but I see this as a opportunity. So, or gambling as well, you know, or whatever. You can call it gambling. I don't know. But I'm, I'm jumping in on it. I'm giving it. I'm going to put some money in it on it. I'm going to see what's happening. I mean, when you look, if I throw... 500 bucks into this five shares, you know, even if it even if it rebounds halfway That's doubles my money and it can rebound quickly. All it takes is for mr. Zuckerberg to just Make a make a media statement saying this took off or we're not or we're gonna stop this and go back to what we were doing Just literally a few sentences from that guy's mouth can change his position <laughs> To where you can make very well off of it. And nobody knows what he's going to do. I mean, for all we know, he might be like, okay, I'm going to load up on all this, drive the stock way up again, and then he sells, and then he just raised all that money to continue his metaverse program. You, you never know. You never know what people would do. Uh, but I'm definitely going to be getting in on that. And then I'll be checking out some other ones. You know, Google... Uh, yeah, it's coming down, you know, and all that. But to me, I'm still not going to start. I'm not going to nibble at Google yet. Um, I'm going to wait and see if it goes down more. I mean, obviously, Google will go back up. I mean, come on. It's got to. But right now, I'm just like, wow. Like, no. I'm not I'm not interested in buying at this in particular time. I think it Google's about where its value is. Obviously, they all that margin money. That was just people who just... I, don't know, I didn't even play any of this I just played it with my 401k and then I cashed out best I could toward the top and then um, but I wasn't you'd buy any of this stuff with my uh, actual private account but yeah so obviously that's going down but um, I'm not looking to buy that one right now and then we got Apple again Apple way up there I won't I'm not buying Apple I mean that's just super super expensive <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying Apple. Um, what else? And then we had the Microsoft. There you go. Yeah, so these are these are most of these. Microsoft starting to go down, but again, to me, that's too expensive for my for me and my taste. I mean, I'm trying to build my wealth. I'm not trying to look like I'm super rich. You know, like people go, oh, okay, well I have all these shares in Microsoft, you know, and if they bought them like way up here, you know, they're I'm not trying to act rich, I, you know, or wealthy. I want to actually become wealthy. And to me, this is not an opportunity. You know, this to me just seems like a trap. You know, like there's that, you know, maybe to go back up, but eventually that'll go down. I'm not interested. It's just the, it's just the bottom line. I'm not really interested. And then you have a, 
obviously. These are all the big name ones that I'm kind of going through here real quick. Tesla is correcting. Um, yeah, no. Even, even um, you know, when Elon sold, like, way up here, you know, and he gave his speech about tax things or this or that or some kind of thing trying to tell people, oh, I'm not selling for, you know, this or that, but for this reason. Nah, he sold because it was way up there, and he's like, this shit ain't worth that. Uh, oops, said a bad word. But, uh, yeah, so he's, yeah, he took all that. He knew it wasn't worth all that. Like, to me, that, I still won't buy Tesla. Like, not interested. If Tesla dropped way down here somewhere in the, like, 200 range or something, not 200 because we're already setting at 207. So I'll say, like, around 150 or, you know, somewhere in there, then maybe. Maybe I'd be interested, but I don't know. I'm not really big on the whole thing. Because everybody's like, oh, the Musk is super cool. Everybody loves him. And he's like, he's the greatest mind ever. He he got, all that got picked up on hype. You know, yeah, you know, he does all this stuff, SpaceX, you know, and all this stuff. And but yeah, I'm just, no, I'm not really interested in that one right now. But I'll just, uh, looking at some of these, you know, tech stocks, thing stocks, or whatever you want to call them, things I'd be interested in. And then things that, like I said, things I am buying, things I have bought. Oh, this is my sold positions. Uh, where was I at right here? All right, but yep, this is my account currently. And moving forward, I'm going to continue to build Amazon. I'm going to build PayPal. And I'll probably take up a position in the meta not a big one, though, because like I said, that is a big, big gamble. But I'm going to take up a position there. And uh, and it's stuff like that, you know, because it's opportunities to do that. And then if things do rebound in like the two years or so, I don't know. People are, people in the markets now, they just, they love to try to make money super quick. So, I mean, you never know how quickly something can rebound. I mean, look at 2020. You know, the markets went down and then they just, next the next year, just boom. You know, not even the next year, maybe. I don't know, just Oh, there they go again. You know, so I'm looking at these as opportunity. Um, that's the only reason I have not been building up, you know, my other positions here for the passive income because I see a lot of opportunity in these growth stocks that can generate you money very quickly. So that's where I'm starting to put it. And then when it goes up, I'll take it out and then I'll, you know, put it into, you know, REITs or, you know, uh, Stuff over here like the AT and T, you know, like the Walgreens, you know, the Kraft Heinz, you know, I'll put it into positions like that. But all right, I just want to share a little bit with y'all about what I'm doing, how it, how my account is coming along, and all that stuff. So, yep. Well, all right. good luck with you guys out there and your portfolios and whatnot. And uh, if you have any cool things you want to like share when it comes to stock related stuff or investments, I mean, shoot me a comment or something. I'd like to reply about it. It'd be cool to talk to some of y'all. All right. Well, see you later. What am I?